Nice. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Grenade out! Ah, I love this game. Okay. Wait a minute. Did I? I forgot to repack my mags. Great. Well, let's go. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? I told you a couple of videos ago, if you were a fan of Tarkov, you need to subscribe, and this video is why. And we actually put some effort in that intro. We don't usually do that here. Now, if you're not familiar with Escape from Tarkov, it is a Russian-made first-person shooter based on a near-future post-apocalyptic Russia. Meaning there's a ton of cool AK porn in it, but of course the game is known for its realistic gunplay and realistic weapons modification. One of the more popular modifications in the game is taking a Saiga 12, a Russian-made AK-style shotgun, uh, from some, just a, a regular five-round mag hunting shotgun to something that absolutely fucks. So I took my Saiga 12 and built it up as something that absolutely fucks. This is my Tarkov-inspired Saiga 12 build. I'm gonna go into what I did to this thing and what makes it special, but first, let's shoot it. Yeah, I play the drums. So enough with the high effort bullshit. Now let's talk about this Saiga 12. If you recall, we actually did a video with this Saiga, uh, a little bit more bare bones version of this Saiga 12, uh, last year in a video. This is the same gun, but with a lot of shit added to it now that uh, greatly changes the looks and performance. Almost all of which inspired by Escape from Tarkov, some of which for the better, some of which, ah. So as our Lord and Savior, Flannel Daddy says, let's go tip to butt. First off, on the front of the gun, we have a JMAC two vent muzzle device up here, uh, specifically for the Saiga 12. As you know, we're big fans of JMAC. We love the RRD4C, uh, their, their chemo brakes, and of course the RRD50 that they made for the AK-50 for us. Great brakes, they do an excellent job of reducing recoil, especially on AK-style rifles. Uh, this one here, uh, just it looks really sexy on the Saiga 12, I think. This is not actually one of the muzzle brakes in the game, but I love supporting J-Mac, and uh, you know, some of the brakes in Escape from Tarkov are just fucking egregious. Up next, let's go to this handguard. So this is the UTG rail uh, for the Saiga 12. Some people say Saiga, some people say Saiga, some people say Ant, some people say Aunt. Uh, the truth is I say both depending on apparently what timestamp of the video this is. But this rail here actually is kind of getting hard to find. I think they discontinued it, either that or UTG finally went out of business. I had to pay like 80, 90 bucks for this rail, I think. Uh, it was out of stock virtually everywhere. I think I got this one off, gun broker. But I remember when UTG rails were like the $30 fucking NC star bullshit that you found at Walmart, nobody wanted. But it's in Tarkov, so damn it, I had to hunt it down. And it is so fucking good that while I was installing it, uh, one of the Chinese Allen screws uh, sheared off, and uh, that's never fucking coming out again. So on the bottom of that UTG rail, though, we have the Zenico PK-1 foregrip uh, that looks nice and aggressive. Had it mounted a little farther forward than I would have liked, just because uh, it's gonna interfere with the rock and lock of that drum, and also putting your arm here while holding it up. 
uh, you kind of have to put it a little farther forward so your uh, your forearm doesn't try to uh, interfere with the drum there or really just kind of be uncomfortable as fuck. Speaking of the drum, the fuck is that? So if you're familiar with the Saiga 12, uh, you know it looks great with the drum or as uh, we say in urban communities, uh, the titty, you know, like Draco with the titty or uh, in this case Saiga with the titty. A lot of the drums that you see out there are Pro Mags, uh, which Pro Mag generally sucks, but they're probably the only option for a lot of the, the Saiga 12 magazines, like that 10 rounder that I have. Let me just add that real quick. This 10 rounder, also in Tarkov by the way, uh, is also made by Pro Mag. Unlike just about anything else that they make for the AK, it is both steel reinforced and actually kind of runs well. But the Pro Mag 20 round drum is not in Tarkov. Instead, they have the Max Rounds drum, which is what I have loaded in this here. I believe this is originally like a Czech design or something like that, but it is an aluminum housing that actually has the rounds exposed as they're going through the track, which is super fucking neat. They're also not really common. The Pro Mags, you could probably pick up the drums for like, I don't know, 80, 90 bucks, maybe less. Uh, this one I bought for like 400. It's heavier, it's more rare, it's gaudier, it's more expensive, and it belongs perfectly with this setup. And moving over here to the optic, we have a side rail mounted Cobra style red dot. Um, it is an actual Russian optic and that means it's kind of garbo, but it just looked right. And of course the Saiga 12 comes with a traditional side rail mount for AK style optics. So this was an obvious choice. And plus, unlike the cheap American made, well, American company, Chinese made, handguard rail, this just screams Soviet drip. Now before we go shoot some more stuff with it, now that we've gone ahead and gone through the whole uh, copy this look uh, part by part, if you want to build your own tactical Tarkov LARP Saiga 12, first things first, you need a Saiga 12. Now a place you can go look for one, arms list. They just so happen to be the supporter of this video and a, definitely a place where you can go pick up a pretty mean Saiga 12. I'm probably gonna be cruising arms list a little later myself because I have a crippling gun buying addiction and who knows, that might be where I pick up <laughs> the next gun videos uh, topic that we do next time. So if you wanna go ahead and check them out, we appreciate them being a sponsor of the channel. Now let's go blow things up with the Saiga 12. Remember, it's not a real range video until we christen the range with the blood of a white claw. Let's do it. 12 gauges of overkill in three, two, one. It didn't even fucking move. It just obliterated the top. That is somehow the most graphic white claw death we've had on the channel. Just blew its fucking head off and just left the legs. It's disgusting. <laughs> ah, fuck it, I'm trying to cut down on my drinking anyway. Let's do the rest. Proving to that white claws family that I'm not sorry in three, two, one. <laughs> Holy shit. I love shotguns. <laughs> oh boy. It did the same thing it did to the first one, but like fucking four times. It got ripped apart. Got lid, a lid, feet. Another lid. This is gross. You gotta clean all this shit up. They're not gonna let us back out here. Remember kids. Milk is good for you. It's a great source of healthy fats, protein, calcium, and uh, entertainment. Oh my god. I knew it was going to come back on me, but I didn't know it was going to come back that much. This is vile. <laughs> I knew we should have stepped back quite a bit. Oh god, I need a shower. <laughs> I'm gonna just like wipe it. This looks fucking awful. <laughs> oh man, you thought the Kentucky ballistics memes were bad. It's uh... I really need a shower, this is bad. Well, if that isn't worth subscribing for, I don't know what is. Uh, so if you haven't subbed already, go ahead and make sure you hit that little happy button down there. You don't want to miss out on epic content like this, especially since I think later on this week we're doing another episode the Darwin Awards. If you don't know what that is, oh, oh man, you're in for a treat.
Anyways guys, I've got a lot of range cleanup to do, uh, so I'll cut this one short. I appreciate you guys as always watching to the end of the video, and I'll see you sexy YouTube mother lovers next time around. Thanks. What is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? I told you guys if you're a fan of Tarkov a couple videos ago, you should subscribe. Ah, fuck. Oh, that, the wind distracted me now. On the bottom of this UTG rail, I have the Zenitco P... PK1? 